Hello everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Here at eTrailer.com, we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as a customer make a more educated decision before your purchase. Today, we're going to be working on a 2019 Ford Ranger. We're going to be taking a look at, and I'll show you how to install, the Demco Tabless Baseplate Kit. Our base plate is going to be that key connection point between our vehicle and our tow bar. We're going to have our base plate, our tow bar, our supplemental braking system, our diode wiring, our safety cables, our 12 volt outlet kit, our charge line kit, and our brake light relay. This is what our base plate is going to look like installed and hooked up. It looks pretty sharp on the front of our Ranger. It doesn't stick out like a lot of the other base plates do on the market. And personally, I think it looks like it should be there. Our base plate is going to be a steel construction, so it's going to be nice and strong and has a really nice black powder coat finish as well to help resist rust and corrosion over time. So it's going to work well and look nice. With our tow bar stowed away, this is what our Ranger is going to look like for everyday use. It just replaced the tow hooks on our particular truck and it, we didn't have to really do any trimming. If we ever want to take it off, we're not going to have to worry about having big holes in our fascia. We take our arms like so, slide them forward. We want to start with our hole in the upright position push it like that, and then we'll turn it 90 degrees, and then add our retaining pin back into place. You might have to turn it a little bit just to get everything to line up, just like that. We can put our safety chain, safety chains back on, and we can just plug our wiring back in. And moving over to the other side, we can grab our breakaway switch, push our carabiner back on. We'll grab our tow bar and hook it up the same way that we did on the driver's side. And in terms of installation, getting our base plate installed is going to be pretty easy. It's honestly one of the easier base plates I've done. You're not going to need any major tools, and in our case you didn't have to do any drilling. With that being said, I'll walk you through how to get it installed now. To start our installation, we're going to be removing our tow hook cover. We're just going to grab a nylon pry tool, but you can also use just like a flat bladed screwdriver or anything like that. We're just going to slide that in through the side of our fascia, kind of pry out on our rubber. And we'll work our way around, kind of just getting this loose. Once you have the front to out, you want to pull down on these two corners. There's kind of plastic tabs that hook in on the sides, so you just pull it down and then simply pull out. You'll repeat that same process on the other side. We now need to move underneath and remove our skid panel. There's going to be four 15 millimeter bolts, one on each side on the front up here, and then one on the back. You do want to be ready for this to drop because it is kind of heavy. Our instructions are going to tell us to remove our plastic air dam. It's going to be a big plastic piece that runs along the bottom. Our truck doesn't have one, but if yours does, there's going to be three bolts on each side. Now we're going to have three bolts on the front of our mud flap up here that we need to remove. They are going to be a 10 millimeter. We can now repeat that same process on the other side. We can now remove our tow hooks using a 15 millimeter socket. You can now repeat that same process on the other side. And if your truck does have tow hooks, we will be reusing the factory hardware. We want to make sure that we add blue Loctite to all of our hardware. Now with an extra set of hands, we can lift our base plate up into place and get our hardware started. You just want to get a couple threads going so it can support itself. We can now grab our bracket that our skid plate attaches to. We're going to slide that through the frame rail and our base plate and slide our hardware in and get it started. Again, we're just going to get a couple threads going. And I just want to come back with a 15 millimeter socket and snug down all of our hardware. With our base plate installed and all of our hardware torqued down, we can now reinstall our three bolts on each side and our skid plate in the reverse order that we took them apart. And with all of our flat towing components installed and everything hooked up to our RV, we are now ready to hit the road. That's going to do it for our look at and the installation of the Demco Tabless Baseplate Kit on our 2019 Ford Ranger.